Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be bringing down Trey Flowers signing with the Miami Dolphins in a film session. We're going to be bringing down what he brings to the Dolphins defense. Before we get started, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. That said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. Former Detroit Lion, former New England Patriot, Trey Flowers, uh, has signed with the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, this guy used to be really, really, really productive. You know, you look two years ago um, in Detroit, had, I think, seven and a half sacks, uh, played 15 games. But the past two years, you know, has been plagued with injuries. Um, and after signing that five-year, $90 million deal with Detroit, Detroit decided to move on from him, saving, I think, uh, $10 million in cap room, like a lot, they saved a lot of money cutting him. Anyway, this guy past two years been very injury prone, but when on the field, he can be very productive, um, as shown with some of those seasons in New England, some of those seasons in Detroit, that first season in Detroit and the last season in New England, um, are really his two most productive seasons. So 2019 and 2018, it's been a little bit of a, of a while since Trey Flowers was, you know, that really great pass rusher. He's never been an elite pass rusher, never been a double digit pass rusher guy. But nonetheless, um, he brings a lot of depth to this Dolphins defense. And uh, let's dive into the film session and just show what he brings to the table. So the number one thing that Trey Flowers does is his, it's just his strength. It's his pure strength. And that's what I'm really going to emphasize um, the most in today's video um, in these, in these little, uh, clips here. Um, you're going to see him here working on Nate Solder, the left tackle uh, for the New York Giants here. This is a play from 2019. All these plays are from 2019, um, just because the past two seasons, 2020 and 2021, um, you know, he's been super injury prone. He's been, uh, you know, almost allergic to staying on, on the field. Um, so uh, there wasn't really enough uh, stuff to really show you uh, clips from. Anyway, 2019, this was his best season with the Lions. And this is like, this is the peak of what he is. Anyway, all about the strength. On this play here, right, he's just going to bully past Nate Solder. And that's what I love about it, right? He's going to try and get to the outside, right? He's trying to get to the outside and just look at the leverage that he's creating, trying to bend, really good bend, and then has that strength to just push Nate Solder to the side, push him that way, and then is able to come back in um, here and, and make a play on this football, right? So you see him trying to get to the outside, get to the outside, get to the outside. Nate Solder does a good job keeping to the outside. And then he just disengages with the hands really well done and then uses that little bit of burst. He's not the quickest guy um, out on the edge, but he does have a little burst. He uses that burst, gets to the inside, throws Nate Solder aside. And now he's got a free shot on Daniel Jones and does a fantastic job here just eyeing the quarterback. Um, and then he sees how, as Daniel Jones is about to throw that football, really, really instinctive play here. Wrapping him up with two hands, but more importantly, putting that uh, right arm on the football. Football's knocked loose. Uh, balls on the ground. Lines uh, don't recover, but nonetheless, you know that's that's a that's a textbook play there um, by by Trey Flowers. So once again, it comes with the ability to just rush the passer here. Really good strength. Show once again right there. Right, good strength pushes Nate Solder aside and then has that burst and that instinct to get to the football and knock the football loose. And once again, it comes down to just the bullying factor. Trey Flowers has that uh, really big strength. You know, he's, he's, he's a big guy, obviously. Um, and you're going to see him here working on the right tackle this time. A lot of these plays are going to be from the left side. But this one's going to be from the right side. And Flowers, um, you know, once again, it's just all about that, that pursuit and that instinct. Um, and the ability to stay with the play, right? Um, and uh, on this play right here, he's once again just going to show his strength. Bull rush here. Look at how he forces the right tackle backwards, right? And then, once again, his ability to disengage. Nice little move here, getting that right arm over the left shoulder of the offensive tackle and basically pushing off the offensive tackle here and getting behind him, right? Offensive tackle is now in the dust. Derek Carr has, is, you know, has no protection here as Flower is able to close in quickly. Right, and then wrap him up with, with with two arms. This is really, really well done by Trey Flowers. Once again, bull rush strength, a lot of strength here, and then that little swim move with that up and over move with the, with the right hand. The right arm goes up and is able to push off that defender and really close in on the quarterback. He's got some solid pass rushing moves and he's got some solid strength. And seemingly all his sacks come in the same same way. You know, uh, this time he's going to be on the left side, but it's a very similar idea, right? Bull rush, disengage, find the quarterback. Um, and you're just going to see him trying to rush the passer here with strength, right? Just going right at the left tackle here and is able to just bully him 
um, and, and get that, once again, it's that outside arm on the inside shoulder of the Uts. Tackle is able to get past him and then has the strength from there to just close the gap, stay with the, stay with the play, and wrap up the quarterback. And that's just a really solid tackle there on Mitch Trubisky, right? Puts two arms around him and just throws him to the ground. Uh, just lands on top of him, basically. Like, there, there's no way Trubisky is getting out of this. But once again, it's the power and the strength that Trey Flowers has um, when healthy, right? And that's a big if. Um, but when he's healthy, you know, he's really able to show that strength um, and, and show that ability um, to, to get to the quarterback. And that's what he does best. So in this play, you're going to see Trey Flowers lined up, um, once again, on the left side, going up against the left tackle here. And this is a different kind of play from him, right? This is him showing more of his ability to lean on, on the tackle, and really win on the outside, right? We've seen him win on the inside multiple times, right? Start outside with the bull rush and then get to the inside and win on the inside. But this is him winning on the outside. Um, and he's just going to basically just lean on this, lean on on the left tackle, lean, lean, lean. And then you see as he's able to still, you know, move those legs, chug chug along, right? Because he's got that strength and he's got that power in his pass rushing. He's able to lean on the, uh, on the tackle and get to where he wants on the football field. And he's able to wrap Kirk Cousins up. But nonetheless, this is once again just a really good play, right? The, the left tackle doesn't even do a bad job here, right? He's, he's, you know, maybe maybe there's a little bit of a hold at that at that point, but from the get go, uh, you know, he doesn't do a terrible job, right? Um, it's just that the power and the strength that Trey Flowers has, once again, one healthy, he can win from the outside, he can win from the inside, but he's got an he's got a nose for the football, and he's got a nose for the quarterback. So with that said, I really like the the pickup of Trey Flowers, and I think he does a couple different things. Number one, he's not going to be you know your number one pass rusher for the Dolphins, right? That's Emmanuel Ogba, that's Jalen Phillips, that number one, number two combo. But he slots in with a guy like Melvin Ingram, maybe, um, who you know former you know a, not elite pass rusher, but a former you know high productive uh, pass rusher, like a high end productive piece. Um, who has veteran experience, veteran leadership. I mean, Trey Flowers has won two Super Bowls, right, with the New England Patriots. Um, and, you know, like Ingram, brings a lot to the table. Used to be one of those top pass rushers in the league. And, you know, Flowers never was a double-digit pass rusher, right? He was never a double-digit sack guy. But seven sacks in a season is really productive. And I know if you look at the stats over the past two years, you don't see a lot of, you know, big numbers, right? And that's because he was injured, really hampered with injuries. But this is a guy coming off a massive contract. Dolphins get him for cheap. And more importantly, you know, if he doesn't pan out, he doesn't pan out. But two years ago, he was one of the better pass rushers in the league. Um, and he's very capable of getting the quarterback. A little bit of a liability in the run game at times. Um, you know, Flowers doesn't excel in the run game. Um, you know, that's just not really where his game is at. His game is trying to get after the quarterback and really rush the passer. Um, but he's got a lot of strength. He's got a lot of power. Um, and I think that is those are really good things for the Dolphins defense. It makes this pass rushing core a lot deeper. Um, but overall, you know, this guy isn't going to give us 10 sacks, right? He's not going to give the Dolphins 10 sacks. Maybe you see three or four or five sacks from him this season. Uh, but he's not, but at the end of the day, he's a depth, um, he's a depth addition to this team with the ability to have some big sack games and, and to have some big sack numbers, um, from time to time. Um, I just don't know where he is health wise. Um, obviously over the past two years, um, he just hasn't been able to stay on the field, but if he's able to stay on the field, maybe five, six, seven sacks is, is, is possible as a, as you know, a depth guy, um, as a rotational guy, as a guy who's going to be pass rushing on, on, on third downs, uh, on a guy who's going to be in there in the blitzing. Um, just don't look for him really to be that big run stopper that the Dolphins, um, have, have needed in previous seasons. I mean, they do have Christian Wilkins and Raekwon Davis to be those guys on the inside, uh, but Trey Flowers is going to get after the quarterback, right? He's going to get after the quarterback a little bit. He's going to pressure the quarterback a little bit. And at the end of the day, you can never have enough veteran pass rushers on your team. Always a good thing um, as the Dolphins try to revamp this defense. They try and look towards the playoffs next season. I really like this pickup of Trey Flowers. I think he brings a lot to this Dolphins uh, defense mentality-wise, uh, production-wise, uh, playoff experience-wise. I think he's a really good pickup. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.